Hi, this is Gali Gofarb. Thank you very much for joining me here today. Today I'm going to be talking about treating Helicobacter pylori with diet and supplements. Helicobacter pylori, or H. pylori for short, is a gram-negative bacteria that can populate the human oral cavity and the stomach. In uh, developing countries, H. pylori affects 70 to 80 percent of the population, whereas in developed countries, it affects between 13 to 50 percent of the population. In most people, a Helicobacter pylori infection is asymptomatic, meaning it has no symptoms and takes the form of a mild inflammation of the stomach lining. Ulcers of H. pylori infection with increased inflammation and increased acid secretion in the stomach are observed in about 15 to 20 percent of the infected people. This may happen if left untreated as well and can lead to ulcers also in the esophagus lining causing pain when swallowing and ulcers in the duodenum uh, causing pain after eating. Uh, symptoms may include stomach ache or burning sensation uh, especially when you're hungry you may feel nausea, bloating, weight loss um, that is unplanned, and frequent burping. Some people may mistake their symptoms for acid reflux or heartburn, and they may take antacids or acid blockers, leading to uh, the actual condition going untreated. Now, Helicobacter can also lead to anemia. And gastric cancer from Helicobacter pylori infection is found in about 1% of infected people. Helicobacter pylori infection is diagnosed using a ure urea breath test uh, or through the urine or blood tests or detection in a, st a stool sample. Conventional therapy of Helicobacter pylori infection is based on long-term antibiotic treatment with at least two different types of antibiotics, often combined with a double dose of an anti-secretory uh, um, uh, proton pump in inhibitor. Uh, medication. This therapy is effective in 82 to 92 percent of patients. The problem with this type of therapy is the increasing resistance of Helicobacter pylori to the most commonly used antibiotics. Also, this therapy is often associated with side effects, especially diarrhea, nausea, and taste disturbances leading to treatment discontinuation. Um, so, antibiotic treatment is often stopped in the middle of the therapy treatment. Now this side, these side effects may um, be due to the change of the gut microbiome and the impact it has on the body. The foods we eat uh, can potentially contain many substances with potent antibacterial activity against Helicobacter pylori. Therefore, dietary intervention can lead to a decrease in Helicobacter pylori colonization of the stomach and decrease um, the predominance of inflammation of the stomach lining. Um, this lowers the risk of gastric cancer and of course heals the body um, almost altogether from this infection. So let's talk about the 10 ways to prevent and manage uh, the condition uh, by changing your diet and taking supplements. So you can prevent getting Helicobacter pylori actually through dietary, uh, through specific dietary changes and of course you can manage the condition. Um, so number one, you want to consume a whole food plant-based diet. Uh, studies show that consuming high amounts of whole grains and vegetables reduces the risk of getting Helicobacter pylori. Now, study participants in the one study who had showed that, that those who had the highest amounts of uh, whole grains, roots and tubers, vegetables, mushrooms, beans, nuts and seeds in their diets had the lowest chance of getting Helicobacter infection in the first place. You also want to reduce processed and salt-rich foods. The same study uh, found, it's a Chinese study with, uh, many, uh, with many participants in it, this study also found that a diet rich in refined grains, uh, pickled vegetables that are very high in salt, uh, bacon, salted fish, salted and preserved eggs, processed and cooked meats, and as well as wine and tea, was found to have the highest chance of getting Helicobacter pylori. You also want to increase your isothiocyanate um, in your diet, cauliflower, Swede, cabbage, horseradish, radishes, um, mustard, 
and onions contain substances called isothiocyanates. And these substances have anti-cancer and bactericidal uh, activity against Helicobacter pylori. Sulforaphane, uh, which is found in broccoli in the broccoli family and its sprouts, is one of the isothiocyanates inhibiting the growth of Helicobacter pylori. In one study, uh, patients with confirmed Helicobacter infection uh, who had a broccoli sprout intake of 70 grams a day had a significant decrease in Helicobacter pylori colonization of the stomach lining. Now you also want to consume uh, manuka honey or oat honey, uh, oak honey. Uh, the antibacterial um, activity of honey is attributable to its high acidity and the hydrogen peroxide that it has in its content. The most potent antibacterial activity against Helicobacter pylori was found from the oak tree and manuka honey. Honey intake at least once a week was associated with a significantly lower prevalence of Helicobacter pylori infection. You also want to take a probiotics. Certain probiotic strains have antibacterial activity resulting from their ability to secrete antibacterial substances such as, such as lactic acid, um, disturbing um, bacterial adherence um, mechanisms to the stomach lining. Now, also, uh, a research team from the Department of Fermentation and Biosynthesis in Poland found that probiotics significantly improved eradication rates, meaning completely removing um, the bacteria. Helicobacter pylori from the stomach. Now, I recommend taking probiotic supplements with at least 10 different bacterial strains and 100 billion bacteria to have the most beneficial effect against Helicobacter pylori. Also, fermented foods such as kimchi and sauerkraut are also very good sources of probiotics. You also want to take berberine supplements. Berberine is a herbal supplement that helps the stomach produce less acid. Many studies have proven that berberine has an anti-helicobacter pylori effect and acts as a helicobacter pylori inhibitor. A recent study indicating that adding berberine to the standard antibiotic triple therapy effectively completely eradicated helicobacter pylori, healing the peptic ulcers and improving clinical symptoms. So it not only helps eradicate, it also helps the stomach lining heal. I recommend taking a berberine supplement of 150 milligrams daily until the infection is eradicated. You also want to take vitamin C supplements. Vitamin C has been shown to inhibit Helicobacter pylori urease activity. Now, what does this mean? Well, urease is an enzyme that is central to Helicobacter pylori uh, colonization of the stomach lining. A study into the failure of antibiotic treatment of uh, Helicobacter pylori showed that patients uh, who had uh, with the infection did not clear, had lower levels of vitamin C than the patients whose infection had cleared. Therefore, uh, for uh, a treatment to be most effective, the person must have sufficient levels of vitamin C in their blood and gastric juices. So treatment with vitamin C has shown a healthy increase in vitamin C in the gastric juice. Therefore, I recommend taking uh, uh, liposomal vitamin C supplements um, three times a week, three to four times a week, and, and perhaps even more uh, while you have this infection. You also want to consume vitamin E rich foods. Vitamin E is the most effective fat soluble antioxidant. It plays a part in stomach lining defense by protecting against the damage caused by excessive free radicals. Vitamin E is a primary antioxidant scavenger in the stomach lining, uh, while vitamin C is responsible for scavenging the free radicals in the stomach liquid, in the liquids. So vitamin E can also, you can uh, consume uh, these foods regularly. It is found in avocados, almonds, um, seeds of all types, bell peppers, um, peanuts, pumpkin, and green leafy vegetables. I recommend consuming these foods regularly while you are suffering from a Helicobacter pylori infection. You also want to prevent deficiencies caused by Helicobacter pylori. It is important to note that many micronutrients depend on a healthy functioning stomach for absorption. So uh, when you have a an, an, uh, Helicobacter uh, pylori infection, this may alter your stomach physiology and it will also affect the balance um, and, the, and the absorption of vitamins and minerals, uh, which will lead to certain deficiencies. These deficiencies will affect uh, 
the person's immune system, their heart, their brain function, and the health of these organs, as well as cholesterol and glucose metabolism. Therefore, it is essential to take supplements while infected with Helicobacter pylori. Uh, studies show a connection between Helicobacter pylori uh, infection and deficiencies of vitamin A and B12. Treatment with these nutrients has shown a, an increase in vitamin A and B12 in the blood, which helps the body fight off infection. Also, Helicobacter pylori infection is significantly associated with decreased bone mineral density, especially if it goes on for a long period of time, um, the infection. Therefore, I recommend taking 1,000 micrograms of uh, vitamin B12 as methylcobalamin twice a week, uh, 25,000 uh, international units of vitamin A uh, twice to three times a week, getting sufficient sun exposure or taking 2,000 international units of vitamin D daily until the infection is eradicated. Foods rich in nutrients that support uh, bone mineral density include sauerkraut, which also is a probiotic and also um, is very, very good um, for helping to eradicate uh, Helicobacter pylori infection. You also want to consume soya bean products such as uh, tofu and natu and uh, consume whole sesame seed paste uh, such as tahini also. Uh, I recommend consuming these foods regularly. So I hope you can use these recommendations to help you get rid or prevent the infection of Helicobacter pylori in your stomach. And I wish you all the very best. Thank you very much for joining. If you like this content, please give it a thumbs up. Please also subscribe to my channel if you are interested in health and healing your health and body naturally. Also visit my website, thegorillodiet.com to help you move your health and weight to a better place for you. Thank you very much for joining.